And could we finally see some action? Yeah, that's right. The EU has kind of lagged, uh, you know, the U.S., Canada, the U.K. in putting targeted sanctions on the coup makers after they took power on February 1. Um, so this action's been expected for a while uh, from the EU. They've uh, hinted at um, this for, for a bit now, so it should come as no surprise, but it shows, you know, clearly the dividing lines now between the West and, and Asia on implementing sanctions and trying to punish the generals uh, financially, um, you know, for the for the takeover and also for the, the bloodshed that we've seen on the streets in recent weeks. Dan, as we see the U.S. and China meet in Anchorage today, is there a missed opportunity here for Beijing to play a greater role with its influence in Myanmar? Um, well, it kind of hits at the, the core divide between the two countries. You know, we saw the the opening statements of the U.S.-China meeting kind of descend into acrimony over this question of um, human rights. You know, China objecting to the fact that uh, the U.S. brought up Xinjiang and Hong Kong in that meeting, saying the U.S. has no right to lecture anybody on these types of issues. So that kind of shows the broader mindset of China right now. And, you know, it applies to other countries in the region like Myanmar, um, you know, where if China um, were to kind of back the West in, in that fight, you know, they see themselves potentially opened up to similar action um, at home. And that's really kind of the issue facing a lot of questions or a lot of countries in Asia is, you know, do we want to uh, punish Myanmar in a way that could eventually come back and blow back on us one day. Um, so for China, you know, they have interests on both sides. They're, they're trying to calm things down. They, they do um, have, a, you know, just as a border country, a neighboring country, they have a lot of uh, more acute interests with Myanmar. Um, but yeah, on that particular question, um, you know, they have a completely different approach. We're already seeing more charges levied against Aung San Suu Kyi. What's the latest on the ground? Yeah, the military has added a, in a corruption charges to her. They had a businessman come out and claim that he gave um, her cash uh, to to help uh, smoothen the way for his his own financial gain. Um, so all of these these charges against Suu Kyi, um, you know, she's had no right to defend herself. She hasn't even been able to meet with her legal team since the coup. They deny all these charges. They say they're all political grandstanding by the military. And the military is very keen to justify keeping her behind bars. You know, they don't want, they've, they promised to hold another election, and they really don't want her running in that election because she's won big every time she has run in, in elections. And they know that she's uh, the main obstacle to them eventually taking power in a way that the international community um, does find somewhat legitimate.